in the future, could we ditch sleep? I mean, think of all the sheep we could count. All right, I gotta admit something to you guys. I love sleep. I love the feeling of being completely refreshed after a good night's rest. But some people, they have trouble sleeping and other people, they don't want to sleep at all. I mean, when you think about it, we would get a lot more done if we didn't spend a third of our lives asleep. And there are stories, largely unsupported, that some of history's greatest innovators and busybodies were able to do just that. Instead of 40 winks of sleep, maybe they got five or six. Some people, inspired by these possibly apocryphal stories, have tried to create a strategy they call polyphasic sleep. Which is a little confusing because that's also a term for people who have sleep disorders who keep waking up throughout the night. What they do is they try to break up their sleep into short 30 minute increments throughout a 24 hour cycle. So. Does it work? The answer, according to Dr. Pyotr Wozniak, is sadly no. Dr. Wozniak is an outspoken critic of polyphasic sleep. His studies have shown that the longer you try and stick with a polyphasic sleep schedule, the more likely you are to suffer the effects of sleep deprivation and disruption of your circadian rhythms. As it turns out, we humans, we just do better with one good chunk of sleep each night. So what do we do? Where do we turn? Tech companies are trying to answer that question, and here at CES 2017, we're seeing examples of that, like Sleep Number. They've been in the game for a long time. They announced a new Sleep Number technology with a bed that dynamically changes how firm or soft it is throughout the night based upon your body, your breathing, and your, your heart rate. So you start getting restless in the middle of the night, your bed adjusts for you, and you stay asleep instead of waking up, having to make an adjustment, and going back to sleep. Or how about this super cute sheet named Dozer, which is designed to help parents see how well their children are sleeping. And if their children aren't sleeping well, they can make adjustments to the child's environment, play different types of music, adjust temperatures, and that sort of thing so that their children get better rest. Then there's a whole range of products that are possibly effective or maybe they're not like aromatherapy devices that are designed to lull you into a sense of sleep and then go into deep sleep later on. The point is, we're looking at technology to solve this problem and it's kind of funny because technology is also a cause of this problem. You may have heard you shouldn't have a television on or a computer or mobile device nearby while you're trying to sleep because it creates another demand on your attention and you will sleep more poorly because of it. Perhaps in the future, we'll be able to alter our bodies and our brains enough so that we don't need sleep at all. Imagine all the stuff we will get done. But that's a long way away. And until then, we're just gonna have to relax and try and get the rest that we need so that we can be the people we want to be. Personally, I'm ready to take a nap right now. In the meantime, I wanna ask you guys a question. If you could eliminate sleep from your lives, what would you do with all that extra time anyway? I want to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. Big thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible. And make sure you check back frequently to learn how dreamy the future will be.